Well, welcome back to the program. Well, we're now joined by members of the uh, Great Gulf Coast Arts Festival. We're happy to have that event coming back to downtown Pensacola again this year. Of course, it was uh, took a year off last year, as so many things did in our area, but uh, definitely coming back this year. And we're excited to have them back on the program to talk about everything in store for downtown Pensacola in early November. And joining me to, to discuss that are Anna Dice and Buck Mitchell uh, with the Arts Festival. Thank you both so much for coming on the program today. Thanks for Absolutely. having me. Glad to be here. Absolutely. Yeah. Glad to talk about it again. You know, everything, uh, a lot of things were canceled last year, moved around, postponed, postponed again, but, but you guys are moving forward uh, with the arts festival. So let's talk a little bit about the arts festival in general, for maybe somebody out there that might not be familiar with your organization and the event. Tell us a little bit about uh, the arts festival, kind of how it came to be and, and, you know, a little bit of the history around the organization. So Great Gulf Coast Arts Festival, we're in our 49th year of an all volunteer arts festival. So 49 years ago, Linda Gray, who is still a part of our festival, uh, came up with this idea and it has grown and improved and expanded for 49 years. Uh, we hated to miss last year. And I think it's made us all the more excited to be back this year. Um, it's an amazing group of people who um, we often joke or would never come together in the same room um, otherwise, but do, and then manage to create a festival that runs three days and brings so much to the city of Pensacola, beautiful artists, music, food, fun. It's um, such a fantastic experience. Yeah, it really uh, it, is it, a great event. Go ahead, Buck. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's a Pensacola tradition. Um, you know, I can remember being a kid running around the festival and, uh, and then having my children in the park uh, and they're in their 20s today. Um, and, you know, we really bring downtown Pensacola to life exactly like Seville Square and Fountain Park and Bartram Park are supposed to be. Um, and we're real excited to, to be able to put the show on this year. Yeah, it's great to have you guys back. It, it's the, the tradition and, and like I said, with the kids, running around down there, you know, my kids had uh, some of their artwork uh, displayed in the tent down there a couple of years ago when they were in elementary school. So it was fun to watch them run around to see their stuff, but also going from vendor to vendor and checking out all the cool artwork and, and cool vendors that you have down there. So let's talk about uh, some of those vendors and what people can see this year. Who do you have on, on tap for this year? What are some of the things that people can experience when they attend the Arts Festival? Absolutely. Well, the heart of the festival um, we have 200 fine arts um, artists that come from 30 states, um, lots of, we got about, I think, 15 that are from kind of our local area, but 30 states. Um, our festival is juried, and so what that means is those festival, um, those artists submit their images and are selected by judges. Um, we're a nationally ranked festival. Uh, 2018, when we were, or 2019, I should say, uh, Sunshine Artists ranked us nine. Um, so we're nationally known um, and for bringing those artists in. Um, but then, of course, we've got our heritage arts um, section that has some of the craftsmen and fine work around the shit like that. Um, our children's festival, we're also expanding into Museum Plaza this year. And we'll be showcasing some performing arts. So we'll have some of the groups from UWF and uh, PSC there doing some performing arts, as well as Pensacola Opera. Um, and who's the, do you remember the other group? Bucket? Pensacola um, State, Pensacola State's going to be there too. Oh, and Pensacola Little Theater. That's what I was missing. So they'll be doing some performances on those stages. And then we have the main stage um, where we put on music acts um, all day. And so, yeah, it, lots um, to kind of make up the, the whole festival. Yeah, that is definitely a lot. Is there a, a, a website or a social media planning page that people can go to to see the times and who, who all is on tap? Absolutely. GGAF.org is the website. And then you can look us up on Facebook, Great Gulf Coast Arts Festival. <laughs> if you follow along, we're doing artist spotlights every day. So you'll see um, one of the artists from the show. But if you want to see all the artists, those are all um, listed on the website. You can browse around, decide what you want to see when you're down in the festival. Um, and uh, all of the art that we comprise. So it's ceramics, painting, sculpture, glass, jewelry, uh, so broad. Um, you, when you walk down, it's amazing to me to always see, even amongst painting, what you're seeing from difference between watercolor, acrylic, mixed media, um, all of those wonderful um, attributes there. You know, that's a good point. A lot of people, when they think art, they think paintings or something like that. But you're right. It, it just really runs the gamut of all sorts of types of art on display at the Arts Festival. And what do you think it says? You mentioned you're ranked number nine in the country for, for Arts Festivals. 
I mean, for a little bitty Pensacola, you know, in the grand scheme of things, what do you think that, I mean, that says a lot about you guys and the job that y'all do and what y'all bring to Pensacola. You know, it, it really does. Um, and one of the differences between our show and, and I think most of the shows around the nation is the committee uh, that we have and the Pensacola hospitality that we put out there. You know, we, um, you know, the, these artists travel around the, the, the world and the nation and do, do shows and it's their livelihood. But when they come to Pensacola, our committee, we, we really put out the welcome wagon and they feel at home. And a lot of that ranking is based on the artists, um, their feedback to, uh, to, the, to the judging organization of Sunshine Artists. Uh, uh, they're the ones that are, are telling, telling the world that Pensacola is a great place to have an art show. That is fantastic. That's awesome to get that kind of feedback. And thank you all for your entire committee for what you guys do in bringing this outstanding event to downtown Pensacola. And I don't think we mentioned yet uh, the best part of the event, uh, which of course is the cost. How much is it to get into the arts festival? Absolutely free. free. Yeah. And that includes the children's festival. We have activities down there for the kids so that they can experience art. Um, that's right outside that student art studio, or student art tent that you were talking about that your kids had some art in. We've got a bunch of activities and all of that is absolutely free. We are excited to welcome Pensacola that way. That's great. It you know, is. And, that, and that student art show is, is so important in the children's area to, to introduce those children to, to the different uh, forms of, of uh, creating art. Um, but just like you said, your child hung and, and you know, was featured uh, in, in the student art show tent. And that is such a great building block for, uh, for, for the morale of, of students as they move uh, on in their education to be able to be proud of the work that they do. Uh, and it's a competition. I mean, these, these art teachers around the uh, Santa Rosa County and Scambia County really take it seriously. Um, and then they bring their children out to see their own artwork, but then they get to introduce themselves to, to, to some real, real professionals and maybe inspire uh, some, some of these uh, future artists to, 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 to go out into this field. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we are out of time, but thank you so much. It's great to have you back on the program. That means the Arts Festival is a go this year, and we're all happy about that. Um, and thank you for everything you do with, with putting on this organization or putting on this event and everything your organization does to have a, a top, top five event, top 10 event in the country. I mean, that's fantastic. Uh, in downtown Pensacola, it's absolutely free uh, for the entire family. So uh, thank you both uh, for coming on the program today. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Cam. And we appreciate it. Always remember, uh, Arts Festival is always the first full weekend in November. Um, and we look forward to seeing you out in Seville Square. Buck, Anna, thank you so much. And we'll be right back.